Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for October 2023. Um, interesting, I just noticed when I was doing the dishes today that the leaves are already turning. So, welcome to fall. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. Some of you are intuitively guided. Thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Uh, I feel like that comes directly from your guides. Some of you may have planets in the sign of Sagittarius, or you may be in love with the Sagittarius. Whatever brought you, welcome. I hope you receive the messages that, um, you know, that will bring you clarity and peace of mind and give you the answers that you're seeking. We're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. Um, we're going to use three different decks. We're going to use our Mother Mary for our words of wisdom. For your main spread, I was called to the Light Seers. Um, I kind of love the Light Seers for you. And then we will use the Gilded Tarot to do any clarifying that needs to happen or to go deeper, really, is what I like to say. So let's go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to start with Mother Mary, get our words of wisdom. First, I am going to give it a couple of shuffles. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my sister-in-law who is Sagittarius and I'm trying to think of her birthday. Um, mm, mm, I'm thinking the 24th, but I'm not 100% sure, but Alan. All right. Let's go ahead and open up this reading. I'm going to again start with Mother Mary, get our words of wisdom. Mercy. Mercy. Have mercy on my soul. All right. Mercy. I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. Towards myself and others. Don't forget that. I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. And we're going to read that from the book at the end of the reading. It's just where it's most profound. Um, I used to read them at the beginning, but something made me change it to the end, and it just always blows me away. But we'll know why it's here. All right, let's bring in the light seers. Let's give it a couple good shuffles. Everything's always pre-shuffled before I begin. That's really where I'm just meditating on you, opening myself up to whatever messages want to come through. But I like to shuffle with you here. So, one more shuffle. I didn't really like that one. I like a nice, clean shuffle. Perfect. Oh, look at that. How'd that get in there? Oh, look at that. Different deck, the Light Seers. I'm sorry, the Gilded Trail and the Lovers. Interesting. I feel like I have to leave it out. Uh, first of all, it's a card of Gemini. That can mean a head of a hard decision. Oh, we have another one. Six of Swords. Hmm. Thinking that song, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Hop on the bus, Gus. Six of Swords. You know, doesn't have to mean you're leaving someone, um, but it's def it's definitely the recognition of something has been toxic to you, and um, making the decision that you know you're not going to live in that toxicity anymore, whatever that may mean. I am going to put this one back, but we're going to give him a cut, and we'll see. We'll see why the lovers. Ended up in this pile. I'm going to just put it as your first card. I'm going to bring the lid down. And I'm going to shuffle. So, the lovers. Card of Gemini. Head of a heart decision. You know, I what I love about this one in this deck is it looks like there's two people there, right? But one looks like they're in spirit and thought. You know, it's almost like I can feel them, even though they're not there. So for some of you, it can certainly represent like a twin flame type energy. 
could be someone that you connect to um, on a spiritual level, telepathically. Like I can feel your energy even when you're not present. All right, let's see what we have here. Six of Cups. Hmm, Six of Cups, someone that I used to know. Six of Cups is talking about, if it's talking about a person, it's talking about someone that you would have happy memories of, treasured memories of. Talk about your childhood. Um, can be asking you to look at something in that way. Like, you know, if I'm like been in a negative headspace, remember the good memories of someone or something or a time period. And then we have the chariot. Interesting. I'm saying interesting um, because we're in the year of the chariot, number one. Uh, this is a card of cancer, but it does represent 2023. Some of you, you know, I hate to make it a love reading already, but some of you, it's interesting because I'm looking at the horses, you know, both black and white, and I feel like that's the duality, right? That's the masculine and the feminine. That's the light and the dark, and it's about the balance of the two. You know, the chariot, I feel like, is often a reward. Um, why? Because I feel like this is when I learn that it is my intention that truly controls where this chariot's going to go. It's unlimited potential. Um, it's, it's a very positive type energy. Hmm. I have a feeling some of you have someone on your mind or you're on someone else's mind, whether you know that or not. It's interesting, too, because I'm feeling like, you know, I'm looking at the lovers. Or I'm sorry, I'm looking at the Six of Cups and it's like, here's the younger version. Here's today's version. Like my trusted dog is with me. Looking at those bowls, it reminds me of the Tibetan singing bowl. All right, let's keep going. Two sixes and then a seven. All right, your cards are coming out quick. Wow. Sagittarius. Knight of Cups. All right, again, did not plan on making it a love reading, but we have to let it be what it is, right? So Knight of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Cups speaks about... An unexpected cup of fulfillment. Right now, it is mirroring the lovers. You're on someone's mind. There's no doubt in my mind that you're on someone's mind. And I get this feeling that someone has been, um, hmm, I almost feel like patiently waiting. Patiently. But waiting. You know, here is the white horse. And it's like you are the other half of that. You are the dark horse. And are they coming together? You know, I'm also noticing this letter. Someone may have written a letter. It may just mean communication. Almost like, did I write someone a letter and... Um, now they're waiting. There's, a, there's that bowl. There's that bowl. Could be a cup. He's got red roses in his hand, though. So it does, to me, signify love. Shoelaces are untied. He's very relaxed. He feels like a very chilled type of energy. I'm saying that because some of you may, um, that may give you some clues as to, like, who this may be. Um, again, I feel, like, very relaxed. He's got some tattoos. I guess I should let you see that. I'm sitting there just staring at it. We have the devil. Card of Capricorn. You know, it's interesting also is some of you may have, may have heard me speak of this before, but in some decks, 
you'll see the devil where the devil has an influence over the lovers. It's like the devil has the lovers in chains. I don't know what's going on with my computer, why the light keeps going. It gets light and dark. I thought I just fixed it. Um, but anyways, this can be, it can certainly, if it's not a Capricorn for you, it can certainly be some type of influence. Now, if it's an influence, it's usually a negative type of influence. Um, I'm saying influence. That's not the word I mean. I mean um, illusion. You know, like casting an illusion over these lovers. It's almost like someone's breaking a curse. Devil's reaching his hand out. Asking me to grab it, which I'm not going to. We have Gemini and Cancer, Gemini and Capricorn and Cancer on the board so far. All in their major arcanas. So it feels like there's some type of influence over these lovers. King of Pentacles. Some of you. It must be Capricorn. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And then we have the Tower. I have to say, I don't feel like this king is giving anyone a tower. I feel like this king, much like this knight, is being very patient. It's interesting because they both have their dogs by themselves, by their side, as does the Six of Cups. So I feel like, again, I have someone who's very patient. And now this can go either way. This can be you or this can be the other person. But I feel like there has been some type of tower. Um, maybe I was, again, under an influence, so to speak that I had a break free from and the chariot to me feels like the vehicle, the way, um, the way after the tower. This king feels like almost like he's waiting for someone to um, be able to overcome that energy. Tower means there's been some type of, type of disruption. You know, it, it can speak about someone of the past, you know, and maybe there was a previous tower, but I get this feeling like this tower is more current and this energy of someone patiently waiting is of the past. So I feel they're separate of each other. We have... The Ace of Wands. So interesting. We get the tower, right? Um, the ending of something. Sometimes I don't ask for this tower. Sometimes I don't think I want this tower. But sometimes I feel like the universe is giving us a tower. And it's like curse the universe, right? But then down the road, we're like, oh, thank God for that tower. Thank God that that tower made me take a chance in something, made me move from my current situation, um, move me away from this, this, these illusions that I was stuck. Ace of Wands is all about action, passion, desire. You know, it's like right under this Knight of Cups. Well, let's keep going. You know, the tower happens, but then right away, the Ace of Wands shows up. So maybe the tower, you know, forced your hand in something, but then immediately, you know, maybe you didn't have a choice but to keep moving forward. But immediately, I feel like the universe is responding. It's like putting this fire in your belly, um, almost like, you know, giving you like signs of where to go next, what to do next.
You know, I don't know who else is reading I got this in, but I feel like even the tower with the chariot above it, it may be moving you like out of your current situation or out of a current location. And, you know, Six of Cups to me always makes me feel like like my hometown, like a, a period of time where I have like happy memories. Um, and yeah, there may be someone in there also, you know, like like an old boyfriend or an old girlfriend. Maybe I haven't even thought about him for a while. But I have a feeling someone's thinking about you. So again, the tower, though it feels destructive, the chariot is there to help move you. I mean, you have a beautiful top line. The lovers, the six of cups, the chariot, and then the knight of cups. The knight of cups mirroring the the lovers. We have the seven of wands. Seven of wands is the energy of standing your ground. You know, it can be the energy of like, defending off attacks and interesting because it's coming below the devil um you know and capricorn i always like i always say i hate i hate the devil because you know for capricorn because i don't feel like it really represents capricorn um but i do know for some of you it may be a capricorn because the king of pentacles is right next to it on the other hand because I have the seven of wands now under the devil, I feel like um, I may have been, and when I say I, I mean you, like I may have been in an energy where literally I feel like I was fighting off these attacks. Maybe they were coming one after another. And, um, you know, maybe you did stand your ground, but sometimes I think we have to learn, like, standing my ground, is it worth it? Like, what am I standing my ground against? Am I going to, you know, am I going to benefit from that? Because the tower makes me feel like something comes to an end anyway. But then the chariot is, again, something that helps move you forward. Three of cups. Three Cups um, is a reason to celebrate. But we'll keep going. Let's see. It can also, to me, it can talk about, especially with the devil's influence right there, um, it could certainly talk about someone who, you know, was tempted to some type of substance, alcohol, that type of thing. Maybe I tried to change them, help them. But to no avail, sometimes, you, you know, it's better to love someone from afar. We have the strength card. Card of Leo. Um, just look at the image, though. This person's half woman, half lion. She's got that gentle little lamb by her side. Why? She's got a heart. She's wearing her heart outside of her chest. It's almost like the tower. And then I'm seeing the eight on her arm. It's tattooed on her arm. Infinity. No beginning, no end. Maybe I had made a free will decision with someone. And it turned out not to work out in my favor. And if that's the case, just, you know, forgive yourself. Because even free will decisions, there's something to learn, right? But I feel like this tower, and I feel like this is why whoever this is, is being patient. Because I do feel like you had to overcome this tower's energy, you know, the strength card also talks about our own inner demons, right? And finding that balance. And then the chariot is balance. You know, I don't feel like the chariot shows up until you've found that balance. Why? Because I feel like otherwise you would wreck the chariot. 
right? Like if I'm not balanced, like think about your car, you know, if you have one flat tire uh, or two flat tires, it's going to be hard to drive that car. There's, the tires need to be balanced. Oh my gosh. The lovers again. Look at them. Now they look like they're together. She's got a tattoo of a cross on her arm. Something with a tattoo. Is that a cross? No, I don't think that's a cross. You open with the lovers. The last card so far is the lovers. What's mirroring the lovers? The Knight of Cups. Unexpected couple fulfillment. What's in between the cup, the Knight of Cups and the lovers? The Ace of Wands, the fire, the passion, the desire. You know, I feel like there is something that, first of all, okay, let's go back a little bit because I do feel like there is this energy of, you know, maybe I was trying to change someone or change a situation, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how much effort I put into it, it didn't seem to change. Um, maybe one of the lessons I learned is I can't change another, but I can change myself. I can change my situation. Again, I get this feeling someone is thinking of you. And then here, I feel like the potential of you coming together. It's like in spirit or in thought, telepathically, in my dreams. This night is patiently waiting to come in. This night is, is unexpected cup of fulfillment. This king is also waiting patiently. Both of them are very chilled out. See on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. So, potentially you were stuck for a little while. You know, the Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. And um, I'll put that myself in that prison for protection. I also feel like sometimes I don't want to face the facts of something. You know, sometimes it's like, even though we know we need to change something in our life or someone in our life, just the thought of change can be difficult. But it is an eight. An eight do, eights do stand for a new beginning. You know, if you look at this eight, it's like your higher self is looking down on your earthly self. Almost like your higher self is trying to reach you. To show you, like, look what you're doing. You're creating this prison for yourself. You're wearing this blindfold. Like, there are illusions that you're stuck. You're not stuck. Free yourself. We've done this before. We've been here before. There's nothing we can't overcome. Allow yourself to have a new beginning. Even if it's a little fearful. All right, let's just get right into it and let's go deeper. Let's bring in the Gilded Chirau. Got double Gemini on the board, by the way. Leo, I think I already said that. Capricorn. Couple eights, um, some sixes. You know, I throw out numbers because sometimes, uh, is my camera going dark? Driving me crazy. I don't know why it does that. Gonna get rid of that light. Okay, that's not helping. Maybe it's like how the cards are. Hmm. Well, I apologize that it looks so dark right now. And hopefully it's gonna change. 
I feel like I already caught him, but we're gonna caught him again. All right, start at the beginning. There's there, it's light again. This is a new computer, so I'm still learning how to use it. I thought I fixed it. All right. Anyway, back to back to your reading. Justice. Carter Libra. Some of you certainly feels like you may be cutting ties with someone. Now, maybe and and by the way, this wouldn't be a surprise. Like, I'm not the type of readers that would say, oh, be careful, you got a tower coming. I feel like if you have a tower coming, you already feel that tower coming. Um, if it's speaking about cutting ties with someone, you're already thinking about cutting ties with someone. You know, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you messages that are going to make you worry. Now, let's talk about justice, because justice is about balance, and you have quite a few cards here that speak about balance, right? Finding that balance within. Justice can certainly talk about cutting of ties, but I feel like if you're cutting ties with someone or something, it feels like someone, um, it, 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 it's only going to serve you, because I feel like when I cut those ties, I feel whole again. You remember, that's Justice's job, is to make you feel whole. You know, not better than, not less than, but whole again. It smells like this knight and this king, they're waiting for you to cut ties with another. They're waiting patiently for their time. This could be just like an old friend. But again, this would be someone that when you think about them, um, would probably bring a smile to your face. Someone may have cut ties with you and um, may have felt like the worst thing in the world. But I'm telling you, with time, it's like I feel like many times we look back and we look at that tower and we say, thank God, thank God for that tower. At the time when we're going through it, you know, it feels destructive. It is, you know, it is, it's temporary, um, but it is difficult energy. But it is showing that you have the ability to overcome that. But not only overcome that, I feel like it's like moving you into a uh, very loving type of place. All right, two of wands. Here you go. Like you're heading right to them. You're heading. It's like you're cutting ties and then you're heading. Listen, even if you don't know who you're heading towards, it's like they know. Huh, interesting. Two of wands means you're about to start down the next path, the next journey. Could be one cycle is coming to an end and another cycle is about to begin. But in the two of wands, you know, it's a very passionate time. It's action oriented. So again, sometimes the tower doesn't give us the luxury of just like laying in bed and getting over it. We have to keep moving. But I feel like with the ace of wands right next to that tower, it's like inspiring you. I feel like this is definitely a time where I want you to try, um, I want you, you know, I'm asking you to try to pay attention to your intuition. Look for the signs because some of you, I feel like you're going to be naturally directed towards, um, you know, what feels like the next chapter, but this chapter may be a forever chapter. You know, it's funny, Seven of Wands just moved. And again, I feel like I, sometimes I got I to gotta look at like, you know, here I am standing on my ground, but is it worth it? Like, why am I standing on my ground? The hangman. Over that chariot. Mm. Okay. Six of Swords now over the Knight of Cups. All right. So 
Before we move on, let me switch the way I'm sitting. Number one, the hangman. The hangman is a pause in action. And it's exactly what I felt earlier. Like, you know, the chariot shows when you're ready for the chariot to show. When you can when you can truly benefit from the chariot, when you're ready for it. Hangman to me, a pause in action, but I'm seeking wisdom. I am seeking wisdom on the steps I should take next. You know, um, and then what's mirroring it is the strength card. So I do feel like this is you taking the time to overcome this tower. But again, I don't feel like, you know, you have a lot of time to just sit there and do nothing. Then you look at the Six of Swords. So this hangman seeking wisdom. Well, the Six of Swords is giving the hangman the wisdom. It's saying that, you know, I feel like I have to come back down to the Seven of Wands again. Like the energy that... um you know, where I just kept standing my ground. Truly, it was toxic for you anyway. Um, and cutting ties to that. Six of Swords can feel a little difficult in the time. But that is also very temporary energy. By the way, it's movement. You have the Chariot and then the Six of Swords. It's almost like it's almost like this Ace is giving you... It's like filling up your gas tank so that you can make the trip. Six of Swords means you're moving away from the toxic energy towards much calmer waters. And boy, do I just feel like there's someone that's going to be there. You know, someone is going to be waiting. I don't feel like they're going to pounce all over you. I feel like they're very patient. They've been very patient. You know, and I get this a lot lately where I feel like even in like our social media platforms where, you know, you can put like I'm single or you can put like I'm in a relationship or it's complicated, what have you, where the status may change from, you know, in a relationship to single. I feel like you're being guided to the next journey, to the next place doesn't mean necessarily that you're making a physical move, but I know that some of you are. We have the three of pentacles coming over the devil. I feel like someone may get a job offer that um, or an opportunity of some type that may move you from your current location. There's that seven of swords again. Seven of wands, I'm sorry. And then look at this, the four swords coming now right over the tower. So if you don't think that you can't heal from the towers, this is showing you that you can. You know, I feel like um, it's interesting because I feel like in the Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles really speaks about your creativity and that you are the missing piece of the puzzle. Um, I feel like in the Three of Pentacles, it talks about putting my head down and just working on my craft, so to speak. But I feel like in that energy, other people are recognizing like your uniqueness, um, who you are. It's like I can feel you on a soul level. Some of you may turn around and it's almost like if I was with, let's just say, like a narcissistic type of energy. Um, and you know, I, I get through that, which you can get through that. Um, you may turn around and be, and find yourself actually helping others to overcome that, to recognize that, you know, you may have a platform. I do like that the four swords is giving you that period of time to allow you to heal. You know, the four swords to me speaks about heartache, of course, but there's one sword on the bottom and that talks about our own part in it. 
Yeah, it's not to put blame on on you. It's to say, know yourself, you know, understand why the tower showed. Or even, you know, maybe I felt that tower um, and I knew it was coming, but maybe I didn't. Like, I got to learn to, like, I got to learn. I got to learn when to, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, have mercy on yourself. I get this feeling that there's someone that you know, let's just say from your olden days, who would say to you, you know, I recognized your uniqueness right from the get-go. I recognized how special you are right away. Now, I feel like then something you know time moves on right life happens and i feel you some of you may have found yourself like in in a different relationship and i feel like this relationship was difficult i do feel like it was difficult because again there's a lot of energy of standing your ground defending off attacks um, so when I see the tower, I feel like even though the tower can feel destructive, I feel the tower is actually your friend here. So I feel like this Knight of Cups, again, unexpected couple fulfillment, doesn't matter what you think, what you say, you can't, you know, it's unexpected. Um, but it feels like your movement first and then their movement. But I feel like already, like they would say, like, I knew how special you were the first day I saw you, the first moment I met you. Maybe a conversation that you're going to have in the future with someone. Well, hello, Ace of Pentacles coming over the Ace of Wands. So I kind of love seeing the Ace of Pentacles right now because this talks about something that's coming into your physical world. You know, the Ace of Wands is the energy of action, desire, passion. But the Ace of Pentacles means it is coming into your physical world. Well, what's coming into your physical world? It's coming between, again, that Knight of Cups and the Lovers. You know, again, I don't set off to do love readings when I, when I you know, start a reading. Um, but I don't deny them either. Now, I also have to say, though, I feel like, you know, yes, I do feel like this is speaking of love. But I also feel like this is speaking about an opportunity that just may open up for you. And it may require, like, a move. It may require that you change, you know, locations, uh, whether that be, like, across the state or across the world. Um, or even back where you used to live, that type of energy. Uh, because the, the Ace of Pentacles is mirroring the Three of Pentacles. So it speaks about some type of craft that you're already good at, even if you don't know it. You know what I mean? Like, even if you're not sure about it, like a three can talk about the beginning of it. You know, the two, it's when the chapter opens up. So there may be some type of opportunity. And, you know, I feel like um, you do want to have clarity of mind because, you know, I feel like, I feel like there could be an opportunity coming your way. And let's say that you're in a relationship or a situation that's really not serving you, that really feels toxic, right? That does carry the tower energy, whether it's now or it's later. Um, I feel like it's probably already happened there because the four swords is over it. You know, um, I feel like the universe is just helping you to move to the next place. And then I did see the seven of pentacles underneath the Eight of Swords. So the Seven of Pentacles to me talks about, first of all, we're in a universal year seven. Um, so I'm not surprised if there's movement, it's going to happen this year. 
Um, but also, I feel like the Seven of Pentacles speaks about your soul seed of intention and, you know, the experiences that your soul wanted to have. Now, our human mind may not know that. You know, again, if we look at the Eight of Swords, it's like your higher self, your spiritual being is looking at your human being saying, come on, we're stronger than this. We don't need to create these prisons. We don't need to wear these blindfolds. You know, those, um, you know, her hands are bound, but they're bound so loosely she can set herself free. And honestly, she is the only one who can set herself free. So I do feel like for some of you, it could be an opportunity that comes your way that actually has you moving towards the next chapter. And in that next chapter, I feel like there's someone waiting. There's someone waiting. The fool, a new beginning. The fool says, take a chance. Take a leap of faith. You know, coming over the seven of wands, Maybe I'm just a little tired of defending myself anyway. The Fool talks about putting the past in the past. Because it doesn't serve me to carry the anger, the hurt, the pain of the past. The wisdom, yes. What I've learned, yes. But the rest of it, letting it go. You know, the Fool's allowing yourself to have a new beginning. And then, hello, we have the Queen of Wands. So now it's directly connected to you. Now this can be, of course, you, Sagittarius, another Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, but I feel like it's you. Coming over the Three of Cups. So this Ace of Pentacles, it is giving you a reason to celebrate. This Ace of Wands, I feel like it's like this, again, this fire in your belly that, you know, I feel like it's speaking about the potential of love or a potential person. You know, I don't know if it's going to go directly to love. I just feel like it is, though. But first, I feel like that I make these changes, right? I I understand that, you know, standing my ground against someone, especially if it's like a narcissistic type of energy. Listen, I'm never going to win. How I'm going to win is by leaving it. That's how I win. So sometimes the tower, you know, can be from another person, but sometimes it's universal energy that's just trying to protect you, trying to help you move into, well, the seven of pentacles, one of your soul seed of intentions. And it, it arrives. There is that ace. All right. And then the fold. So opportunity shows. But within that opportunity, I feel like love may blossom. Well, hello, King of Wands, right next to the Queen of Wands. Interesting. I just got that in, in um, I think, Virgo's reading. But it's coming over Leo. But I didn't do Leo's reading yet. Um, but it could represent Leo because, you know, it's King of Wands. I do feel like really what it's saying, though, it's talking about like-minded energy. You know, two people who are action-oriented. Even if I've gotten stuck, you know, maybe I got stuck for nine years, a whole cycle with someone. You know, I tried it all. I tried everything. It just didn't work out. The universe is like, I'm tired of you sticking around. We're going to make that tower happen. But we're also going to allow you to heal from it. Why? Because this energy is much more in tune with your energy. Some of you could, could be a Leo. All right. Seven of Swords. Hmm, interesting. Coming over the lovers. What a time to come out. Seven of Swords is normally untrustworthy energy. So let's think about this for a second because it's mirrored by the Six of Swords. So it almost feels like it doesn't fit. I have a feeling 
that I thought someone was someone special. You know, maybe they presented themselves in that fashion. Like they presented themselves as like, you know, someone who's going to love me for a lifetime. And maybe for a period of time, I believed it. And then the ugliness comes out. The truth comes out. I feel like... Um, You know, this could potentially talk about this person of the past, but I don't feel that. I just don't feel that. So I want to look at this Seven of Swords more closely. I want to know why the Seven of Swords came out right here, right now, before I do anything else. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. You know, Seven of Swords can be energy of someone who takes more than they give, like takes you know it's like it reminds me of like um someone who grew up with little food so you know when they get the money they they they, be, they just want to eat everything they want to eat all the food all right ten of wands queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn doesn't have to be though seven of cups and a three of wands okay so I feel like the Seven of Swords is of the past. I don't feel like it's this knight. I don't feel like it's this king. I feel like it's more of like someone's energy who, um, first of all, I feel like they definitely took. They were a taker. Not only that, I feel like they put the responsibility of, if it's a relationship, of the relationship on your shoulders. You carried the weight of it. If it's speaking about a job, again, everything fell on you. So, I do feel like it's like the universe then puts a ball in your court. Do you want to change? Do you want, you know, are you ready to leave this? Do you see it for what it is? You know, when I think of the Queen of Pentacles, first of all, we do have the King of Pentacles here. But when I think of the Queen of Pentacles, her specialty is to really read those details that other people miss, right? She can see between or read between the lines. So, you know, if someone's been untrustworthy, listen, maybe they cover it up for a little while, but eventually this queen is going to see it. And by the way, I feel like you're all people. Um, unless, you know, unless we feel it differently. But the Seven of Cups feels like, okay, the ball is put in your court. You know, but maybe, maybe the ball was put in your court. But still, because of the Eight of Swords, I still didn't do anything about it. So the universe, divine, your spirit guides say, we're going to help you. It's going to feel a little hard. But we promise you, it's temporary. And if you keep moving through this tower energy and come out the other end, we promise you, it's going to be worth it. Now, I feel like you're being helped in a few different ways. First of all, you're seeing the truth. And you're not hiding from the truth any longer. I also feel like you are going to take a chance on yourself. You know, the Seven of Cups, it's like, I'm a little nervous about picking one of these cups because, you know, here I am. I picked this cup over here and I ended up with a like a narcissistic type of person. I ended up with someone who was a taker. Gimme, 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 gimme. And didn't give, give, give. You know, I ended up with someone or a situation where everything became my responsibility. That's not how I want to live. That's not the life I planned. Well, maybe part of it you did. And maybe part of what the reason why you did plant that seed is to teach yourself how very strong you really are. And that's what the strength card does. The strength card teaches you. That as you overcome these challenges, you start to realize, man, I am so much stronger than I thought I was. I am a spirit warrior. 
And then the Three of Wands. Well, that does feel like movement. You know, this is a change. This is a complete change from the Eight of Swords. Three of Wands. This is me looking at my life with an optimistic view. You know, I'm saying to myself here, hey, wait a minute. Why can't my ships come in? By the way, here's a ship. So I know they can come in. You got two aces already. I know they can come in. The fool's saying, but you got to take a leap of faith, right? You got to take off these blindfolds. Unbind yourself. Free yourself from what is illusionary. And from those who give you these illusionary tales, um, you know, if you're dealing with anyone who, you know, is untrustworthy, is it the energy you want to stay in anyway? I feel like, I feel like you learned some hard lessons. I do. You know, and I'm saying lessons, but I feel like it's expansion for your soul, though. You know, and everywhere where there is difficulty, there's something beautiful following it. So. I don't feel like the Seven of Swords has anything to do with the lovers. I feel like what it's saying is this is the energy that creates the tower. This is the energy that has caused destruction or feels like destruction in my life. This is the energy that my guides, divine, is trying to save me from. You know, again, mercy. I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others but towards yourself i feel like you've been kind and thoughtful towards another but maybe not so much towards yourself i understand it's difficult to say yes to another cup and that's exactly what this knight is offering a cup it is difficult especially when you've been through this type of energy but the fool is everything here because these feel like com two completely different types of people. And again, I get the feeling for some of you, like the conversation may be like, I knew the moment I met you, that you were special. Why didn't it move past that point? I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't meant to. You know, sometimes we do meet someone very special at a younger age but it doesn't work out at that time well because i feel like our soul our souls don't come here just to experience love yes we want to experience love but also our soul comes here to learn right um to create to overcome and to understand how we overcome and to give ourselves the recognition of being able to overcome. Okay. Okay. Um, what do I want to look at? I think I want to come up and look at this Knight of Cups who's carrying two aces, by the way. And by the way, you seem to be going towards this knight because this knight seems to be patiently waiting. Like he's not on his horse riding towards you. It's you in the boat or the ship that's heading towards him. You know, it's almost like I arrive a little scuffed up, you know, like my hair is a little messy. It's, it was a difficult trip. But again, very temporary energy. A, a swords. Oh my gosh. And then how's that? The Ten of Pentacles. So it feels like, you know, the difference of night and day. It feels like one energy was so unstable. So like I couldn't believe anything. This energy is the opposite. You know, I love the Ten of Pentacles, maybe because I'm a nurse sign. But I feel like the Ten of Pentacles, first of all, I feel like it does speak of loyalty. I feel like this is someone I can make a home with. I do feel like it's about setting down roots. And I don't know that you have to do anything other than just move towards your next chapter. You know, allow the next portal 
to open because the Ace of Swords seems to be coming towards you. I feel like someone's going to reach out and communicate. And I do feel like they're going to say to you, you know, especially if I'm still carrying the energy of the past at all, I am not your past. I am not like them. You know, this is the house of abundance. Some of you, I feel like, also, this opportunity that may take you into your creative house, well, you may start to work from home, but it may be a different home in a different town. Who knows? That's what it feels like. Because I'm only looking at the Knight of Cups right now, unexpected cup of fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles is very fulfilling. Ace of Swords is the truth. It's communication. It is coming from this night. So you may find that, you know, how does this come together? It may start with communication before the physical, you know, and then maybe that's why the Ace of Wands is there, right? It's like the fire in your belly first. And maybe that's what you need, right? You need that, you know, because especially if I'm just getting over some difficult energy, it's hard to trust again. But I do feel like these are very, these are two very different people. Okay. I feel like what I want to do is pick all this up and I want to look at the lovers. And, you know, again, I have to say, I am so careful with my cards. Um, and I shuffled these, you know, I shuffled these decks for at least 15 minutes. And it's only two decks. So how I did not see the lovers in the wrong deck, I don't know. And then it doesn't want to pick up, you know, it, it doesn't want to come up with the deck. So it wanted you to see it. And in this lovers, how I opened it up, it's like, you know, this person's almost in spirit, in thought. I can't see them, but I can feel them. Ace of Wands. Here, they're connected. So, let's go from there. And let's just remember everything we have. And let's just take a few cards around the lovers. Oh, come on. Um, let's use the crystal vision. Let me give it a couple shuffles. 66. I'm thinking of 1966. Summer of 66. Some of you may have a light past six. Maybe you both have a life past six or in our personal year six. All right, let's give them a cut. And I'm just going to kind of go around them. I feel like it's best to let go of your expectations of exactly how this must show, you know, um, because I feel like it could be very, two, like, two different people, but at the same time, really fulfill each other. Page of Swords. It certainly speak of someone's younger energy. You know, when I see a page, the first thing I usually think of is like, like back in the day, someone's younger energy. Um, they could also talk about communication 
And again, maybe it hasn't fully come in yet, but again, maybe like, I almost feel like telepathically I'm connecting. There's that seven of, seven of cups again. You know, just because something looks beautiful doesn't mean that we automatically feel comfortable in it. Hello, Ten of Cups. Wow. So not only do we have the Ten of Pentacles connected to the Knight of Cups, we now have the Ten of Cups connected to these lovers. Eight of Wands. Someone's thinking about you. This is the, to me... I read this energy as what I think about, I bring about. It's the intentions that I put out into the universe. You know, the vibration I put out into the universe, and the universe is going to match that vibration. I feel like someone's been calling you in. Someone's been calling you in. Subconsciously. This is also fast-moving energy. Someone may sweep you off your feet. It may be scary, but everything feels right about it. Let's just go right below them. Three swords. King of Cups. Um, this can be a Cancer, Pisces, or um, Scorpio. But when I see the King Cups, I think of someone who, in the upright, uh, wants to be, like, you know, this is someone who appreciates love, who doesn't have to be in love, but feels best in love, um, appreciates a relationship, appreciates having that partner by themselves, their self. Am I saying that right? Having their partner by their side is what I meant to say. You know, it's like, who am I going to call when something special happens during my day? You. Automatically. I feel like whoever this person is, I do feel like like for somehow, some way, they're aware of the challenges that you've been through. Now, again, this can be the other direction. This could be flip-flopped. But again, I feel like there's awareness of, you know, this heartache. And maybe that's why there's patience involved. You know, if anybody's going to sweep you out your feet, the King of Cups would be the one. Now, I forget this sign. Wow. See those cards flip? Six of Pentacles. Another six. And then the Five of Wands. You know, it's interesting because the Five of Wands is mirrored by the Three of Swords. So I feel like this, this could certainly talk about. And then we have the Seven of Cups up here. You know, I don't feel like this person will necessarily have the easiest of times of moving you or, or asking you to listen. This is what I feel. I feel like when this person comes into your life, I feel like they would very quickly like to get in a relationship with you. I feel like they have every intention of, if you say yes, of staying with you forever. I feel like there's no doubt about that. But in the same breath, I feel like they know, because I feel like in a way, you're kind of battling that. You know, you're like, even though you've had that healing process, right? It doesn't mean that all the broken pieces have been healed. You know, it doesn't mean that, yes, I feel the passion here. Um, it doesn't mean I'm not still afraid. And I feel like, I do feel like you're going to battle them a little bit. Seven of Swords, that's why. Because you dealt with someone who was untrustworthy. And listen, you have every right to take the time to make sure that the next person is not going to be that. I don't feel that they are in any way. But you have every right to take the time. You know, the Eight of Wands is fast-moving energy. But again, I want to go back to the first reading and remember how that person felt very patient to me. So I don't feel like they're going to give up on you. Even if you say no, especially why? Because I feel like 
man, I just feel like this is meant to be. I feel like this is meant to be. I feel like this is a soul seed of intention. And it is time for it to blossom. And I feel like they know that if they come on too strong, it could scare you away. You know, it's like, I feel like I've gotten over the past and someone cheating on me, but then this comes in and this is intense. And it kind of makes that seven of swords raise its ugly head again. But that's temporary. Matter of fact, let's take one more card over that. The Five of Pentacles. Well, that's that tower. Come on. The lovers. Again. Tell me this isn't meant to be. You know, the Five of Pentacles is that energy feeling thrown onto the cold. That tower, though it feels destructive, Sagittarius, it, it, in, you know, there will come a day when you will, you will look back and you will say, thank God that that tower came in. Thank God. You know, what's also interesting in the Five of Pentacles, it is somewhat difficult energy because it's like I don't have the luxury of just like laying in bed and allowing myself to heal. I have to keep on moving, right? I have to keep, you know, so, like working and making a living and paying my bills and that type of stuff. And it is like, it's difficult energy, no doubt. It's a five, it's change. But what I love about the five pentacles is it tells you that you're about to meet soulmates that are going to help you. They're going to help you overcome. They're going to help you take on that fool's energy. I cannot believe you got the lovers again. Lover, lover. Forever my lover. Not just this lifetime, but potentially every lifetime. Eight of Pentacles. Whatever you put your focus on is what you're going to grow. Another eight. A new beginning. You know, some of you, it's like you're starting a new job, a new creative project, but also you're starting new in love. Wow. What a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. Um, excuse me one second. Okay, sorry. I thought I heard Sam knock at my door. All right, let's read Mother Mary. Mercy. Mercy, mercy. This card asks you to notice the way in which you relate to people, including yourself. If you are kind and thoughtful towards others, you will have higher self-esteem. While you can't control how another person treats you, mercy and compassion are usually returned in kind. This card is a message to avoid gossip or criticism of yourself or others and to consciously speak in loving and empowering ways. The higher energy generated by positive words will insulate you from negativity. This is the true meaning of judge not, lest ye be judged. Interesting. So I feel like that's just saying, let the past be the past. And take on that false energy as much as you can. You know, sometimes a reading almost feels too good to be true. But don't forget, like, there's a there's a lot that I had to look at, right? That Eight of Swords, I have to overcome the Strength card, the Tower. I can't just get stuck in that, right? So the Four of Swords comes out. Um, again, I feel like someone's already thinking about you. And I feel like this is subconsciously, um, though you may feel it. But I do feel like this is both your soul seeds of intention. And I feel like this is the time. And listen, if your soul wants to have this experience with the lovers, well, then maybe that tower was necessary to get you into the next chapter. And I feel like, listen, you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. That feels like forever. It feels like someone who I and they want to be together forever 
And by the way, I also want to throw in, I feel like some of you, there's an opportunity where you may be working from your home. Um, it may be in a creative outlet, and that can be a million different ways. But I feel like the universe like really has your back, even though I do feel like energy has been difficult. Go with the flow here. Like if you feel that a change is coming, prepare for it. If you feel like all of a sudden, you know, and by the way, I feel like when someone is thinking about us, like we like, hmm, all of a sudden I start thinking about them. Like, why am I thinking about so-and-so? You never know. You never know. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. What a reading. What a reading. Um, that's why I love doing tarot. I thank you. I thank you in every single way you support my channel. Um, truly, I do. Um, I welcome anyone who's new. Welcome to our soul family. Um, just, yeah, I'm going to stop talking because I already feel like it's a long reading and I don't want you to like not watch it because it's too long. Um, I love you guys. I thank you. And I will see you next time at our table. Wow. Bye-bye.